Professor Lomax here are going to talk about how we uh, sheetrock the ceiling and how you can do it pretty simply using that machine over there. It's really neat. It's just a, a, a hand crank. It's a little hand crank and it cranks up the uh, sheetrock by itself. So we're going to do this in a couple of parts just for editing purposes. One of the tricks what you want to do is you want to draw lines on your sheetrock right here. Now uh, for screwing. So what we're doing is we're measuring every single uh, truss right here, so we know where the lines are. So you'll see this in a couple of sections. So we're going to come right here. The first one's going to be, she's holding it on the wall. The first one's what? Um, 18, 18 and a half, right? So it's 18 and four. 18 and four. You can come up with a part of it. 42 and 4. Now the reason why I'm not going 42 and a half is because sheet rockers talk in eighths. So there's eight eighths in one inch. So half of eight, half of eight is four, which is a half an inch. So if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that equals one inch. Okay, 66 and 4. 66 and 4. 90 and 4. 144 and 4. One fourteen, I mean one fourteen and four. And then let me get this last one here. If you can see right there, I got one thirty-eight right there with the number, Robert. Can you point up to the number? I got one thirty-eight and six. One thirty-eight and six. So that's my overall cut. One thirty-eight and six. The number six equals three quarters of an inch. The reason why sheet rockers uh, talk that way is to conserve energy. It's a lot better. It's a lot better to say one thirty-eight and six than it is uh, one thirty-eight and three quarters. Go back up there, Mike. Yourself. Okay. And that's it. Uh oh. Okay. And so that's the tip of the day. You'll have part two coming up.